All right, well, uh, when we plan on making a video this weekend, but uh, I guess here I go. Um, since I think my car got jealous of me working on the 86 over here, my drive shaft and the U-joints decided to just go out on me. So uh, I guess she got she got a little jealous because uh, I was giving this one attention. So this one wanted some attention. So here we go. Uh, I changed these U-joints out about, I guess about five years ago, four or five years ago. This side's still good. You can see it too good. I'm trying to get the light going. These are good, all the bearings inside of there are good, I don't hear no grinding in it, but uh, y'all can use that little trick right there to keep your, uh, your caps from falling off, you know, take two zip ties, zip tie together, and that side's good, but this side went, went to hell, as you can see, there's all the little bearings inside there, inside the cap. But yeah, so I guess I gotta take these back. They've been wearing pretty good. You can tell, you can see on that uh, end of the joint. Let me see if I can see it. Get them ground in there. We well, heard a little noise, and that's what the noise was. You hear a clucking sound when you put it in the drive, or you hear some tinging sound when you're driving. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. But uh, yeah, that's about it on that. So I think that's still under warranty, and those are the ungreasable kind, they, they ain't got no grease fitting on it. And I see why that one busted. And see this one, it got a grease fitting on it. And it did not bust, but I went ahead and put grease on it, but I hadn't greased them in forever, but uh, from now on I'm gonna keep an eye on them, maybe grease them about every six months or something like that. So yeah, that's about it on that. I take the drive shaft and mess with this all last weekend and then got to mess with this drive shaft today. So we'll see about that. I think it's still in warranty. If not, then uh, I don't think they that much. They're about 10, 15 bucks. So ain't that, ain't that expensive, but I uh, wasn't really planning on this. So uh, went ahead and done it. And I guess I'll show y'all a little trick what I did over here to keep the uh, motor up. Cause I had to use I was key. I was using that on the old pan with a little piece of wood on top to keep the uh, motor from touching cross. Remember on this, on this, uh, on the '86, because uh, when when I let it fall all the way low, it'll lean back and it'll touch the cross. Remember, and I don't want to crack the pan. So got a little piece of wood right there holding it up on this little flange right here. Hopefully, that ain't gonna do no damage, but. It's holding it up pretty good. I guess you can use a jack stand right there with a piece of wood on it. <clears throat> I may sound a little sick. I've been having allergies. Allergies with my ass the last two days. I'm feeling a little bit better, but still, I got like a runny nose and congested. But yeah, that's about it. I didn't I ain't get no work done with this one. I gotta do some work to this one. So, this gonna be too bad. I guess by another hour, I'll probably be done with it. Gotta head to the parts store, but hopefully they have it in stock. So, all right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. And the bearing, the uh, the U joint was supposed to be heavy duty kind of thing, but uh, apparently it ain't that heavy duty. It didn't last too long. And I don't give my car hell that much, but still. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all.